Catching some of the world's largest and most exotic fish is getting easier in Thailand. With the growing popularity of sport fishing here, several new fishing venues have opened up around Bangkok. One such place is Lake Monster, around an hour and a half's drive from the Thai capital. Here, recreational anglers can come and fish for a variety of large native and imported exotic species, some of them found naturally in the Amazon River in South America. With what its owner says is 25,000 fish in a seven-acre pond, fishing enthusiasts like Brendan O'Sullivan are virtually guaranteed some spectacular catches. You can talk about purists, obviously, who want to go and fish on the waters, but the Amazon's a mighty big river and the chance of catching anything's minimal. The owner says he began stocking the lake two years ago so his friends could come and fish. But what started as a hobby has grown into a lucrative business. We have some exotic new species here. Fish that can grow two to three meters long. People want to come and fish for these big fish. Many of them are new for Asia. As one of Asia's top fishing tourism destinations, Thailand attracts plenty of foreigners willing to pay more than hundred U.S. dollars a day for a rod to fish. With its tropical climate, Thailand can house tropical fish from other parts of the world, and it's become a breeding center for tropical aquarium fish. For conservation biologist Zeb Hogan, who heads National Geographic's Mega Fishes Project, a visit to Lake Monster is an opportunity to see rare and endangered species like the dog-eating catfish. Reportedly, this predator got its name from old stories of fishermen baiting hooks with pieces of dog flesh to catch it. I've never seen a large dog-eating catfish in the wild. And this is probably only the third or fourth time that I've even been able to handle one of these fish. So uh, being at this pond is uh, pretty exciting for me. The lake's owner says none of the fish here were taken from the wild but were bred in captivity. Anglers must release every fish they catch back into the lake. But at the end of the day, from a population biology perspective, this is not negatively impacting fish stocks. This is allowing anglers to catch rare species without having to go in the wild and try to remove a very rare fish from its natural habitat. So from a, a conservation biologist perspective, someone who uh, cares about endangered species, uh, wants to keep endangered species in the wild alive. This is a, a good idea. Hogan says artificial lakes like these can play an important part in helping to preserve some of the world's largest and rarest fish species.